we're making a giant cob salad with buffalo style ranch. So I have a couple ears of corn. It's just a fun thing you don't see on every cob salad if you go to a restaurant. So I've got some of that working over here. When I make ranch dressing, when I make a lot of stuff that you would traditionally use mayonnaise in, I prefer to use sour cream or Greek yogurt. It's thicker, the, the dressing has a better consistency to it. You can use buttermilk and mayo if you like. I prefer to start with Greek yogurt or sour cream. Super tangy, super thick, super delicious. I then thin it out with a fat splash, couple tablespoons of white vinegar. Then it's buffalo style, so of course we have to add hot sauce. For buffalo style things, I prefer Frank's Red Hop. Use whatever hot sauce you like. That's about one. That's about two. I just eyeball this. I could drink this whole bottle. Wouldn't, wouldn't bother me. Then we're gonna add a little granulated onion and granulated garlic, S and P. And then we're going to add in our herbs. Here I have parsley, dill, and chive. And I got a little crazy. And I, because I, I have chicken here, right? I added a little tarragon. I happen to like tarragon with chicken. Yeah, I want cuckoo. All right, so our dressing's pretty much done. You take the largest object in your kitchen, well, not human being, but just, you know, like a board <laughs> or a platter, okay? And we spread a lot of lettuce, whatever you want your salad base to be, on the board so we can make this really beautiful presentation down the dining room table. It gets families a lot more excited about having salad night, right? So I have just some romaine hearts. You can use iceberg, which is one of my favorite crunchy, crispy, delicious lettuces that's completely beaten up and underused and not appreciated enough. So this could be iceberg. This could be a mix of any, any kind that you like, or it could be these nice crispy romaine hearts that we have working here. Then we start kind of working on angles and we're gonna build all these elements of our cob salad across the top. Mmm. So now we have bacon, lettuce, and tomato. So then you can put the corn next to the tomatoes and just keep building this sucker, right? Ah, no. I hear you. And I agree. Now, I find people get very finicky about the onion. I love onions, and I always act for, ask for extra um, if I'm ordering something with onions on it out in public. But I'll just put on some medium for y'all in case you are onion haters. But look what I do with the onions. I go across the other direction so we don't get too much, right? Cucumber can go anywhere. I just stick them on an end and go a little heavier on the dressing over that. We have our rotisserie chicken. And all you do is loosen it off the bone. And I go back and forth between the light and the dark so it gets equal distribution across its place on the board. Dark. And then the last of the white. There you go. And then a little buttery avocado. Blue cheese. Blue, blue cheese. And what do we have left? The dressing! 